massage nerds. Today I'm going to bring you the muscles of scapular movement and some techniques on how to, how to work them out to get some relief. So there's six muscles that move the scapula, which is the trapezius, the lower fibers, middle fibers, upper fibers, the rhomboids, the levator scapula, the serratus anterior, and the pec minor. So I'm going to show you three different ways, like prone, supine, and sideline, so that you can go ahead and get some ideas and some techniques. So the first thing, of course, you're going to warm up the body. You're going to do some, you know, whatever it is that you need to do. But I'm going to go ahead and get straight to some of the techniques here because I, you know, I, I don't want to waste too much time with warming up the body. So the levator originates from C1, 2, 3, 4, and it inserts at the medial aspect on the superior medial aspect of the scapula. This is the scapula here. One of the things that you can do is all I'm doing is unruffling. Unruffling here. So I am just doing this underneath and then I can kind of trap the levator between my fingers here and work it out from the origin to insertion. And obviously this is the levator elevates. So let's say that I find I find a little bit of tightness here. So then I'm gonna pin and stretch. So I'm gonna ask her to shrug her shoulders with this. This is elevation because it elevates and elevation and relax. Elevation is the levator and the upper fibers of the upper trapezius. So let me trap that again here between my fingers and again elevate and then release, okay? And then you can do the, the money, money, money technique. You can go here too with your thumb and your fingers. And I am getting the levator and the upper trap. Let me, let me show you from this side. So I would do the same thing even with the upper trap. So I'm uncurling. People that shrug their shoulders forward, you know, um, this is really tight, so what I'm doing here is I'm just forming a C and I'm ruffling from the end, the upper fibers of the trap, and then I'm doing the money, 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 money. <laughs> and you can get to the origins. Remember all the origins? We didn't draw the trapezius all the way so that you could see the rhomboids, so, but the trapezius are, are on top of the rhomboids. So this is another one technique that you can do where you unruffle and then you do the money money. Also you can come here at the occipital ridge and get the origins and go back and forth, back and forth. Cross fiber. You can do cross fiber here also with the levator. And also you can use the bevel tool. You can go straight in between very carefully, very carefully here. And scoop down. What I'm going to do is bring her shoulder down and just scoop down, down the elevator to get some traction here. And you can also hold it for trigger points. But that's one way to treat the levator scapula. I'm going to show you also sideline. But now that we're here, we're going to work the rhomboids. The rhomboid uh, minor is from C7 to T2. And then the major is from T2 uh, to T5. So one of the things that you can do is you can scoop out with your fingers and away from you. It, it inserts right here at the medial border of the scapula. And another thing that you can do <clears throat> from the opposite side of the table, you're going to grab her shoulder right here by the deltoid and then just kind of get some movement here. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get some movement of the scapula. You know, there's 17 muscles that attach around the scapula. So that's a lot of them. Not all, not all of them work on the scapula, but this is another way to loosen up. You know, you're just trying to loosen up the muscles here of the scapula. 
that move the scapula. Another one that you can do here for the rhomboids is the bevel tool, which you use sideways and really get close to the spinous processes. And then you can do outward. And I know that there's, um, the, the, the rhomboids are for retraction. So protraction is when you're going to hug somebody. When you're looking down on your phone, when you're leaning forward, that will be the pec minor pulls you forward, the serratus. And so now for retraction, the rhomboids are going to pull you back. So you want to go ahead and have your client move her shoulders back, you know, and then you can kind of separate them here a little bit. You want to separate the rhomboids. You want to do some movement here. And notice I'm not doing this just with my elbow. I'm moving my whole body back and forth around the midline of the scapula. And then you do the other side. And I'm moving from my legs back and forth. You separate the rhomboids. You're separating the fibers. Now let's move to the trapezius. The trapezius originates obviously all in the midline here, all the way from um, the occiput to T12. So these are the lower fibers. These lower fibers, as you can see, they're going to pull down for retraction. When you're hugging somebody and then you finish hugging them, they're going to pull the shoulders back. So these, five, these are the lower fibers, middle fibers, upper fibers of the trap. So, um, you, and it's on both sides. She just drew it on one side. So one of the things that you can do is you can do cross fiber, cross fiber around the lower fibers. You can always do long strokes too. You can hold, I like to do pin and stretch. So you can hold and just move up. Relax those fibers. It covers by the spine of the scapula. It doesn't cover all the scapula as you can see here. I like to finish with a little bit of pinching there. And from the opposite side of the table, you can pull back. You can pull back the fibers because they are hunched forward, so you're trying to pull them back. And if you find a trigger point, you can ask her to shrug her shoulders again and just hold that and then relax. And I can also pinch it. I find a tightness right there. So you can ask her to shrug her shoulders again. And then relax. And of course, you ask them to breathe through the whole time. And what I'm trying to do is just get some movement here on her scapula. Okay, so I'm doing some movement from the opposite side of the table here. I'm moving the scapula. This is the lower, the inferior part of her scapula. Then I'm going to go to the other side and show you how you can do it from the same side of the table. Okay, so I've got a rolled up towel and I'm going to put it underneath her shoulder here and bend the elbow a little bit. I, I am not a fan of putting the arm back here because a lot of people can't do this, and it kind of, sometimes it hurts their shoulder. So for people that can't do it, all you got to do is bend at the elbow, put your right hand like right underneath where the deltoid is, grab the inferior part of the scapula with your left hand, and just move that scapula around as much as you can. We're just trying to create some movement here and loosen up all the muscles that are around there. And again, if you find trigger points, you can hold them. You know, you can, obviously, you guys already know all these techniques where you can use your forearms. And I, I don't want to go into too much detail of that. I just want to show you, like, how to treat and get some mobility here to the scapula. I like to go on the ox, occiput here. 
going from the, um, okay, so now we're done. Let me remove this. I want to do one inch strips from here from the trapezius, the lateral part of the trapezius, and then going up to the occipital ridge. One inch strips up to the occipital ridge to all the origins of the trapezius and the levator. Because you have a levator on this side too. So you just go up and go all the way up to the occipital ridge. And then the unruffling, the C. After we are done working the upper trapezius and the levator, I am gonna go ahead and turn her supine.